I'm just worried that there's been um, illegal activity regarding this because and there's very specific We laws. should be very careful when we start accusing people of illegal activity, council members. A blow up over the old bait house. During the city council meeting yesterday, St. Pete's mayor was questioned by council about his timing on having the piece of public property demolished and where the documentation was to do it. Eight on your side, Pinellas County Bureau reporter Christine McClarty joins us now live from the pier in St. Pete with more. Christine. The bait house built in the 1920s was a part of the past two piers, and some people wanted it to be part of this new pier, but others did not. So it was destroyed before it could be discussed. You know, we discussed a lot yesterday, but I still just don't understand why. St. Pete City Council Member Robert Blackman says he's worked to repurpose the bait shop for three months. I, I did not know you had been working on this. But according to these public records requests, Mayor Kreisman was on the email chain acknowledging Blackman's interest. It made no fiscal sense for me to spend any money, any additional money on this building. Five years ago, $25,000 of taxpayer money was used to move and preserve it. The same week, its new location was slated for discussion. It was destroyed. This is not the way that we should do things here in St. Petersburg. We spoke with Blackman Friday. The council is supposed to be the watchdog for the little guy, for the citizens on the street. Eight on your side took his question about timing to the mayor. We would love to talk with the mayor. Again, the most important question just being why this took place when it did. He did not return our call, but St. Pete Communications Director Ben Kirby sent us this statement that reads in part, there's no interest from administration in discussing the issue any longer. It could have gone and it could have served a useful purpose. Former mayor of St. Pete Bill Foster is sad to see it gone, but doesn't think there's foul play. He's the strong mayor and he had every right to do it. Others have questions. Do we have records of how it was disposed of and who disposed of it? I have nothing in front of me right now, no, sir. Blackman voicing concern about the lack of documentation. I'm just worried that there's been um, illegal activity regarding this because and there's very specific We laws. should be very careful when we start accusing people of illegal activity, council members. Meanwhile, Blackman moved a motion to discuss having the building replicated, saying it could be used here at the new pier to help make the city money. And we did reach out to the mayor's office today asking for that documentation. Hours have passed. Still no response. Reporting live in St. Petersburg, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side.